Hey guys, Chris here. And today I'm being adventurous with Hannah, AKA Hannah Grace Photographs. She took me to two locations that she wanted to show me, which is the St. John's Bridge and Sandy, all located in Oregon. Now, the thing with Hannah is that she's a very skilled, very multi-talented photographer. Everything from maternal weddings to outdoor photography. She really has an eye skill and the ability to capture a moment that I, I myself could never do. That's why I take a lot of videos and edit it and use, <laughs> use After Effects and Photoshop and all that stuff because I don't have that eye. I'm, I'm pretty bad at it. <laughs> Thank goodness for editing. Um, anyways, back to it. <laughs> now, the first stop that we went to was the St. John's Bridge. Now, the thing about the St. John's Bridge, it's, it's a very modern looking, outstretched bridge. Uh, and it, the backdrop of the location we had was just large mountains, if you will, hills, if you will, <laughs> that were blanketed by, by pine trees with very light mist that, you know, almost kind of like, just had ribbons of mist. That was stretch across it. It was very nice. It was very peaceful. I enjoyed it. Now, with that peaceful, I'm going to redact that statement because these are the list of things that I wrote down that were actually wrong. <laughs> and it was my bad. Um, it was rainy, very cold, getting dark because in Oregon and Washington right now, it gets like dark at like 4 p.m. right now. And when I say dark, I don't mean like, oh, the sun's slightly setting. I mean, like, it's like night at like 4 p.m. right now. And it's, it's very bad. Um, and also, it was all my fault. Because Hannah, by the way, I put like, sorry, Hannah, with a little like sad emoji. I was like, oh, um, she's a professional. She's done this for, you know, she's done this a long time. And, and it, <laughs> like I said, when a professional tells you, hey, you shouldn't, no, today's a bad day. It's, it's going to get dark. It's rainy. I think we should push it back. And uh, me being me, I'm like, nah, it'll be fine. It was not fine. <laughs> Past Christ, you done goofed. And um, we kind of got rained out on our situation. You know, like it, even though it was rainy and cold and all that stuff, she was still able to capture amazing shots. And the reason I wanted to give you context before this photo is because it's rainy, it's cold, light is pretty much just just leaving us at every moment. And she was still able to capture these shots. That is skill to have not only the framing, the moment to get it, but also just an eye to say, yes, these are the photos and like I said, it's just all this stuff wrapped into one. And, and yeah, I, it's, it's just really astounding to me when people could just get that at that moment, you know, that is real skill. And it's, it's always, it, it always impresses me when I see it, especially when it's like me in the photo, I'm just like, Oh, like, cause I was, I'm goofing off. If you ever, if you ever have the chance to film with me or record a crispy and adventurous with me, I literally just walk around and film shit. <laughs> There's no plan. I just get B-roll B-roll footage out the wahoo. Just constant B-roll footage. And she was able to get that, which is me just goofing off. And I didn't even know. That's that's just fantastic. That's great. So well, what ended up happening since we ended up uh walking back to her car and whatever. And I don't know if she knew or because like I, I was really bummed out. I felt really bad because I got this person who, you know, I feel like I wasted their time and I don't like feeling like I waste people's time. And, but yet she's a person that turns lemons into lemonade. She's always very optimistic and bright about everything. And even the walk back to the car, we're goofing off, we're joking. And it was just like, it was just a pleasure. Just like I said, at that moment, like we could just call it the day. And I would be like, that's a fucking great experience. That was fine. Cause she just was really happy. Didn't seem down about the situation. And then she suggested, Hey, let's go get some eat. It's cold. Let's get some warm food. So what ended up happening is we ended up going to this Thai place, getting, 
you know, obviously Thai food, uh, but they had boba tea. Hell yeah. <laughs> they had boba tea. Uh, there was, um, there was a, there was a store next to us that sold pandusa. I love pandusa. And we got that. And yeah, we end up just sitting in the car, just goofing off, talking and joking. And especially during this, you know, the whole pandemic and just everything opening, closing, opening up again, and just everything seeming off, obviously. It was really nice to have someone where no matter what it was, they always just had a smile and a joke and a story to tell. And it's one of those moments where it's, it really brightens you up, you know, cause I'm a naturally kind of downer dude. And it was just really great to have somebody that has just always fantastic optimism and always like just sees the bright side of things. And I can see why her clients always want to come back to her or why people always want to work with her. Cause not only does she have an eye for great, obviously great photography, but also having the personality, you know, cause when I'm there, I'm pretty much just like, Hey, let's just get the shots and dip out. No, she's, she's a person that says, Hey, what's going on? How's, how's everything going? Like actually cares about the person. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> with that said, Hey, let's work together. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's like, I'm not going to work with that guy. He seems like a dick. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was just, I can see where clients always want to go back to her and it's, it's, oh, it was really good. She's really brightened it up, but we ended up talking and we ended up going a second day and this second day of, of crispy and adventures that took, uh, took place in Sandy, Oregon. It was actually a foodie day. We we're like, Hey, food. How about we just go out? go go get some stuff to eat and make an adventure out of that dope you know that is great like there wasn't like oh well you know let's try to scrap whatever out there no she's just like man no let's just you know we had fun doing eating let's try do it again that's that's the type of like suggestion that's not a suggestion but like following through with like that type of positivity is really hard to find especially right now in these situations, it's really great. All right, so on the second day, uh, when we're in Sandy, Oregon, when we were driving around, we noticed a row of food trucks that that circled about, I guess what used to be an old parking lot. Um, they circled around and these food trucks, you know, ranged from literally everything. <laughs> you want eight, you want, different types of Asian food. Do you want, what do you want? Hot dogs? Do you want like, it, it was just a vast variety of food trucks, which I'm down with that. You know, I love street food, obviously. And I, uh, one of the great things about it, like each, each place had like, you know, of course their own little themes and motif, what they had, but also it was just really nice seeing people out and about. Cause even though I like being by myself a lot, um, it was still really cool. Just, you know, humans are communitive creatures. We need community. We need, we're tribal in essence. And it was just really nice just to see people out and about enjoying themselves. Everything was, everything seemed like it wasn't going horribly wrong, you know? So it was very nice to feel that. And, you know, so the food, the types of food we got, we got waffle tacos, um, Philly cheesesteaks, um, taquitos, there's two types, mango, green salsa. And so waffle tacos, they're really good, but did, needed some more. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Somebody's watching this. Like I, I tried really hard on them. Yeah. Just a little bit extra stuff on it. <laughs> I like how I start off with the negative first instead of going with the positive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here, let me go with the positive thing. Then, uh, the Philly cheesesteak was fire. That was so good. Cause it was, like I said, it was really cold. Uh, when we shot the second day, I should have said this when we shot the second day, it was already still slightly drizzly. So we went there. Um, luckily everything was kind of dried up. So, cause there was no tables or anything we could eat at. So instead we end up just sitting down on like, you know, like the curbside or in the car and eat and, and ate, eat. We sat down and 
eight there? Yeah, eight is the correct <laughs> past tense. I swear I'm good at my job. I, I'm, I'm really good at my job. Trust me. Yeah. So the uh, Philly cheesesteak was cool because it was just so warm and nice to eat a warm meal, especially if it was cold. And because the waffle taco was cold, I think it was, if it was a different time. It was like summer or something like that. I think it would have just been perfect, but it was like, it was meant to be a cold meal. Uh, as for the taquitos, also dope, very warm. Um, it had, it had like a very, like, not, like a very nice taste to it. I, I enjoyed it. It was a really good meal. Yeah. But like I said, it was just, it was almost like the repeat. So when we were there with the food trucks, it was almost a repeat of what happened when we ate Thai food, it was very, it was just fun talking, joking around, and especially being around other people where you could hear the banter and the pitter patter of feet, cars going by, music off in the distance. Everything started feeling slightly normal again. And, and like I said, context is everything. And, you know, and so she suggested that she's going to take me to this park which is connected to a forest. And if if you know me, I love forest, love oceans. And so she took me to this park. Uh, I think she really took me to this park realistically to show me that one of the bricks had her name, her like her and her brother's name on it. (laughs) I don't know if that's a flex, is it? I don't know, comment below. (laughs) Name with a brick on it. Is that a flex? Comment below, yes or no. Um, (laughs) uh, But what ended up happening is that she suggests that we walk you know, walk our food off because, you know, we ate a lot, tried all these different types of food and stuff like that. I went to different food trucks, which was great. It was fantastic. Um, now, the how it goes is that you have this park or this uh, park, uh, it was predominantly a kid's park because it's like this giant, like really cool, like jungle gym style thing. But then it turns over into the actual forest, this slight I want to say hiking trail but it's just like one of those like parks where you could walk around a pretty long distance and circle back and it was very very beautiful there you know moss slowly crept in on all corners on side of the forest and trees um leaves were on the floor that were and you know me being from texas and georgia i don't really get fallen leaves so it's still really nice to see that type of what you would call fall or winter what it really looks like because if you're in texas you don't get you get heat extra heat and you get death (laughs) and in georgia you get heat mugginess i don't know what that is it's just like it's like walking into like a fat sumo man you're like oh everything's all sticky and sweaty and then (laughs) and then you get weird cold i don't know it's weird in georgia and texas i like the heat but yo t- the sun needs to get turned down a little bit it's <laughs> can somebody just go up and just just crank just a little bit lower <laughs> um, but here it actually has seasons here in washington oregon which is still very new to me um and it was great because she she saw that i never seen this before or actually slight this is my second time seeing this stuff so everything was still new to me i've never seen forest forest where I live in a place and forest constantly just don't change. It's almost like an endless sea of, of pine trees, woods, and, and weird parasitic plants. I, I Okay, real quick on screen, I, this is a weird tangent. There are trees that grow on other dead trees. Is that normal? I'm not a botanist. Do th- is that is that normal? Are they considered parasites? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, back to the thing. So in this vastness of woods and and just admiring just all these little creeks and streams that I thought they're like it they're real. Like I know it sounds weird, but usually when I s- either artificial or whatever, I never seen just like an actual little like babbling creek just in the middle of it of like a park or someplace like that so it's it's really to me that was really cool just <clears throat> seeing that experiencing that and her you know enjoying me like like just never seeing wood that doesn't <laughs> just yeah I, just, I, I took videos of just pieces of trees and i'm like look at that and she's like that is good <laughs> so <laughs> me seeing these things and her showing me all this unique stuff and even like 
like there was like these weird stages and areas where you could tell people as well right now because of the pandemic can't use them probably um but um but there were like stages you could tell that people were doing outdoor things or you know little villas and stuff like that and it was just so nice and like i said we ended up just walking enjoying ourselves talking laughing constantly and it was nice having a warm smile during just really cold times you know and so yeah thank you hannah i enjoyed very much spending time with you seeing seeing your skills but not only with the camera but off the camera because i know one thing that a lot of people will talk about when you have when you're like a photographer or anything that gets commission work or commission if you, you know what i mean like you commission a painting or commission a photo you have to work with you you're, you have to be a people's person to some extent and i can see why clients always want to come back to her because it's very great to have a person where they they're very true sincere and they're not fake and i know that's a term everyone uses nowadays oh they're that person's fake oh, no. but I, it, this is the only way i could explain it she didn't seem like you know like oh how's it good day sir absolutely like very robotic you know the typical nod and handshake it was very more um genuine true and just overall caring person and yeah so thank you it was really good it was a very much needed experience not for content wise but just personal you know as for everything else guys thank you much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and uh yeah see writing scripts see i'm changing now <laughs> trying to actually follow the script this time um but yeah hope you enjoyed the episode um stay safe out there uh but at the same time explore the world there is greatness out there and it awaits all of us so let's go find it so always guys people love you i love you strive to be awesome because you are awesome have a very good night